Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. This week Tightwad Workshop is located on the banks of the majestic Wilsons River in Lismore. There it is looking very quiet and civilised but don't be fooled because 18 months ago this was the flood level. Now luckily for me nobody here knows who I am so they put me in charge of trailer number two. And what a fine sturdy old vessel she is. Let's head on out and have a look at our first site. For this job we need to start by clearing the scrub growth from 500 metres of fence line. We'll do that by using lopping shears and this electric chainsaw. Once the trees have been cut, Kerry will be painting the stumps with herbicide to stop them from growing back again. We started in the middle of the fence line, then worked our way towards each end. Clearing work took two days, so we felt pretty good at the end of stage one. Kerry also seemed to be happy with our progress so far. Yay! Yesterday we put paint marks on the posts that needed extra bracing, so today Raj and I came back to complete the work. Then we visited the far end of the fence to install a new stay post for the strainer. Once that end was secured, we then used a chain strainer to retention the wires. How's that? Good. That's the tricky bit. Tying knots in barbed wire can sometimes be a painful experience, but this time I escaped uninjured. We can't make it too, super tight because this is old wire, we're just patching. Okay, so now I'm going to back the chain off and release the tension. Mm -hmm. It's still bouncy, that's what we're looking for. So this is the tidying. Rather than cut it off, we just run it out. We tensioned the other three wires in the same way. Kerry still seemed to be happy with our work. Yay! So we packed up and headed back to camp to prepare for the next job. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.